Hello my crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a nice day. I have another video that I'm getting ready to download and put in the computer. Um, this inspiration came from, uh, I can't remember her YouTube name. It's J and B something lady um, at YouTube. Her name's Karen and uh, I know it's J, J and B um, something. Uh, I might have to put a link on the bottom, but uh, she did at Christmas time some Christmas tea lights, and uh, they were, uh, in you know, decorated with lace, and they just looked so beautiful. And I wanted to make some, but I wanted to be a little bit different, and had to think about how I wanted to de decorate these. Well, anyway, um, I went to the dollar store a while back ago, and I had bought these. Um, Ruffled vases on the top. They've got like kind of a, a ridge, riff, ruffled ridge. So they have that little elegant. And I bought two candle holders. So that's like $4 total because it was dollars, dollar three. So I spent $4 and then I spent um, for the tea lights another dollar, which was $5. And you got three tea lights in, in a box. So two of them have been used. So I'm saying this product right here maybe cost me about six dollars because of the fringe and the the roses and the trim. Even though I've met, you know bought these in bulk, I'm just just estimating. Well, anyway, um, I took the the candle holders and I used that E6000 glue, and I glued the bottom on to the glass, and it's holding very well. And then I took some of my pink. Um, I had some of that pink tassel trim kind of like a satiny type of trim and I thought it was so pretty and I love it and I haven't really had a chance to use much of it and I did so, do some Christmas decorations with it uh, I did a tussy mussy and uh, it was something else I did I think I did uh, some tassels and now now I'm using a, it again and this time I used it on the glass face I used a double round, so I did this twice instead of one time, so it would give it a little bit more thickness and not be so thin. Um, so I, did, I did, wrapped it around two times and glued it to the glass. I used some of that trim that I found in, in uh, my big haul that I found all this yummy goodness elastic type of trims and other trims, and I put the trim around that, that to give it some decoration. And then I just put my three three roses from my stash on the front, and this is about all I'm going to do to these pieces because they're going into a bathroom um, and they're going to go on my um, countertop vanity. Uh, we have like two sinks. There's uh, on it's a long kind of countertop, and there's a sink on one end and a sink on the other end. And in the middle of this van, uh, the top of the counter, I'm gonna put one on one side and one on the other to make it look like lamps. So this is where these are going to go and I you know I don't didn't want to put too much lace on it and I kind of wanted to put the tassels that way if I need to go underneath this and clean it you know with maybe some Windex or something I can I can still keep the glass clean and also I can pull this out um, I've got it where it can be pulled out and I can wipe dust up from the inside. So I didn't want to get too lacy with it because, like you said, when you go to cleaning this stuff, um, I want to be able to clean it and not have any problems cleaning it. And so this is how it looks. I don't know if you could see it with the lights on or not, but the lights flicker, and I really, really love these. And uh, thank you, Karen, for the inspiration. Um, when I saw these, I thought they were just gorgeous. I loved them. And... Um, I had a lot of fun with it, this, and now that I've done these two for this one bathroom, I actually bought these for, and was thinking about doing it for my fireplace, And but I haven't uh, started on the bathroom, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I think, yeah, no, yeah, and I finally said, okay, I can always get back to Dollar Tree and get four more pieces, so it's not like I can't find these pieces. So I ended up um, using up four pieces on this, and I just love it, and um, can't wait to put these in the bathroom now. So this is another two things that are getting ready to go and be installed in my bathroom. Well, I hope everybody has a nice day. Um, I've been on the phone for the past two days uh, talking to lawyers. Um, I haven't been able to talk exactly to a lawyer yet. Um, 
I'm making the phone calls, the receptionist, uh, the, the attorneys. Uh, I, I don't know if y'all got to see that real well. Okay, there we go. Just do it one more last time. There you go. You get to see that. Um, I've been calling uh, lawyers up, and the only person that I've been able to speak to is the attorney's receptionist. And um, I've been able to tell her the story and what's been going on. And she would say, well, Miss Huggins, um, we're very sorry, but uh, you know, at the present moment, he's not in his office. He's in court today, but I'm going to give him the message. And he may not call you tomorrow or the next day or two. She said it might be two or three days before he gets in touch with you, but he will get in touch with me, you know, either way. If, whether he's interested or not, I'm going to get a phone call. So I'm just sitting by the phone waiting for me to be able to talk to these lawyers on what I need to do because I am not letting these people get away with what they're getting away with. No. Um, I'm sorry, you know, to go that many months and know about this and, you know, sell this product to the hospitals and they were aware of what was going on with this product and yet they decided to install it into the patients without the patients even having a, a right to say, no, I think I'll wait until there's something better comes along, or I'll wait until I know that there's a safer, something safer, and you're not having problems. I mean, I just, I think, you know, I have had my rights violated, and, and um, I'm definitely going for compensation. I definitely want to sue. And, you know, um... I have been, you know, because of all this bull that I've been through, um, you know, I have trouble cleaning my house, and my husband, he's the one that's constantly, you know, having to help me out, and uh, I don't know what my future is going to be like, you know, 10 years from now, am I going to be, be um, am I going to lose my husband and be on my own and need, need help, so, you know, I've got a future to look out for, and, um, they're going to compensate me for the damage that they've done. I'm very sorry, but I, you know, I'm not trying to sound greedy or anything. I'm looking out for my welfare. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody else would do the same thing, be looking out for their welf welfare. They did the damage to me. Um, they were aware of what the damage they've done. They knew all about this. And they violated me and didn't even tell me a, a darn thing until now. And, and I'm the one that's going to have to go through the pain and suffering and surgery. I'm the one that's going to have to be ripped open. And I'm the one that's going to have to go through this pain. And I'm going to have to be the one that's going to have to stay, stay at home, staring at walls, not being able to do for myself again, not being able to drive, and, and not having a life for you no know, telling how many months. And uh, I'm not going to let them get away with it. I'm sorry. You know, um, I don't know how, if anybody else is doing the same thing. It, by the way the letter looks and by the way the uh, paralegal, the lady I talked to yesterday, there's one, she told me, she said it sounds almost as if they're, like they're trying to get away from having a class act action lawsuit. So they're doing this to try to avoid anybody, you know, suing them. So, you know, it's their way of saying we're trying to fix the problem and there's no need for you to get a lawyer. Well, yes, there is a lot of need for me to get a lawyer because I'm not going to let them get away with this. So that's where I'm at right now. And today I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to call, keep calling lawyers. And, uh, you know, hopefully there will be one that will take my case. And uh, hopefully I'll be, I'm praying that I win the case and, uh, or there's a nice settlement that comes along so that I can be taken care of in the future. You know, and that's, that's my main worry is me being cared for. You know, if my husband were to pass away tomorrow, I'd be in so much, I'd have a problem. There would be no way I could move out of this house. I can't pack up and, and load boxes. Um, I can't cut the grass. Um, I would be in a lot of trouble. So, you know, I have to look out for my welfare now. I really do. I have to think about myself now and not, uh, not not the way these people did me. I mean, that was totally wrong. Well, I got to go because I have some more videos that I need to do. And um, I will talk to everybody later. Hope y'all have a nice day. Love you guys and bye-bye.